Friday night live improv from New York City. And we, uh, you know, we, we've done, what have we done so far? We've done, uh, we've improvised a movie. We've had some great poetry. And now we have some science. That's right. We have an, a world renowned expert, Dr. Uh, Yul Ulu. And uh, they are a world-renowned scientist. They, uh, they're, they're an expert in teaching. Oh, I'm completely blanking. It's an animal. What's that kind of animal that they teach? What is that again? Anybody can shout this one. Where, uh, werewolf. Werewolf. I heard, I heard werewolf. They teach werewolves how to do. Oh, damn it. What's that thing that they teach werewolves to do? It's very unlike what werewolves normally do. Ballet. Did you say that again, Sandy? Ballet. Yes, Werewolf Ballet. Another great 80s band, by the way. Uh, so they're not, they mix artistry and science in a way that we just... Well, let's dive right in and go for some Q&A with our fabulous expert, Dr. Yul Ulu. Give him a round of applause. First, Doctor, from me, I would like to say thank you so much for being here. I, I, I hope that, uh, that this is a great experience for you. Yes. Yes. So excited to be here. <laughs> so are we. We're so excited. We just, we're just dying to dive right in. Now, I understand that Barry has our first question for Dr. Ulu. Oh. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you, Scotty. I'm wondering, do you take the werewolves right out of the womb when born and, and start the, the ballet lessons? Well, fortunately, the werewolf I are born without meat. So, we obviously surgically remove all orifices, appendages, things oh. of that nature. Oh, isn't that interesting? Now, we did not know that before this started. Had no idea they're born without feet. That is so fascinating. Beth Ann, I believe that you have our next question. What? What? Yes, 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 I do. Uh, I, I, I was wondering, how, how do you keep them from clawing at the tutus? <laughs> Easy. Simply <laughs> remove all claws. Oh, so you simply remove the, see, again, we didn't know this. You got to put the feet on. You got to take the claws off. This is a very complicated procedure. Uh, Steve, I think that you have our next question for Dr. Ulu. Yes, yes. Steve, Steve, Steve Gottlieb of the Zoological Inquirer. I'm wondering how you deal with all the injuries that, that werewolves have learning ballet. They're not quite built right for it. Yes. Bleeding is a very problematic problem for us. We band-aids often don't work. Hairy itching doesn't really work. No, of course not. And if you do, you pull them off real quick. Poor old werewolves. Get it over with. Pull that band-aid off. Uh, Sandy, I think you have our next question. I do. I would like to know how you can keep your ballet, ballerina wolf, from being pulled back into the pack. How do you get pulled back into the pack? Sim simply support the ballerina wolf and encourage subscriptions. 
Sure. I have been in a couple of ballet troops myself, and they're remarkably like wolf packs. Yeah. Yeah, not a lot of people know that. Uh, Don, you have a question for Dr. Ulu. Yeah, I think. this is bloody awful the way you're treating this poor werewolf, pulling out things and taking things out. And it, I work for Hall Lights, a magazine for children. Do you have any compassion for this animal at all? Sir, how dare you? I always take consideration when amputating the werewolf's claws. Goodness gracious me! I, you know, I, I think, though, that it's a good question. Uh, a a follow-up is, what are those precautions that you take? Gloves, socks, masks, aprons, spaghetti, bolognese, obviously, that as well. Sure, all of those make sense now. I think you've cleared up everything, especially with the bolognese. Uh, JL, I believe you have a question for Dr. Ulu. Yeah, so I hoid that like you, you, you had some partners when you first started, mm -hmm. but your partners split off and started their own company and they're teaching werewolves to tap dance. And in only three months, I mean, they were on a world tour. Now, is that kind of competition gonna ruin your company? Tap dance? Really? I hadn't really heard of that. It's not a problem for us. No, of course not. Of course not. You know, speaking of which, you know, and the and the choices uh, of which uh, ballets and whatnot. What ballet are you going to? As soon as the the uh, as soon as the whole pandemic is over, uh, what ballet are you going to uh, premiere with these werewolves in it? What's your first one up? American football werewolf in London. Wow, what a great take on an American werewolf, American football Werewolf in London. Wow, that I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to get a season subscription. So I would like to thank, please thank Dr. Yul Ulu for joining us here today. And and Doctor, just before we go, if if you had one piece of advice for the kids at home that might want to get their werewolves into the arts, what would that piece of advice be? Often secretive. Werewolves visit late for their instruction. Oh, all right, then. We'll know that they show up for their instructions late. So always schedule a rehearsal a little bit earlier than you think you need. All right. Thank you, doctor. Thank you very much. And thank you, the people that made the doctor. Thank you, Amanda. And thank you, EJ. Thank you, fabulous cast, for your questions. And thank you, viewer, for watching. We're going to be back with more improv for you in just a moment. So stick around. Mm -hmm.